Hello YouTube family, welcome to it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharita. Today's video is going to be all about fragrances that you just should not wear out the house unless you are trying to elicit certain response. If you don't want people to respond in this fashion, do not wear this. Buyer beware, wearer don't do it. All right, so let's jump right into it. All right, you guys, so for this first fragrance, please, for the life of me, if you are not into announcing your presence, if you are not into filling a room and letting everyone know that you are in the place, do not go past your mailbox wearing Hibiscus Mahajad. Hibiscus Mahajad fills the room. It smells incredible and everyone is going to know that you were there. The sillage lingers, okay? Beast mode, but beautiful, okay? My favorite nose, y'all already know, Quentin Beach. He has made something so, like, I don't understand how he creates such powerful performing fragrances um, just with the notes you look at, it's like rose. Okay, you know, the, he did the same thing with Delina. So this fragrance is rose, it's quite floral, and there is quite a bit going on in here, quite complex, okay? So if you enjoy Delina, I think that you will enjoy this, but they are different. At first, when I smelled it, I didn't know what the notes were, and I'm like, why is this giving me a slight Delina vibe? It's because of the way he has done the rose. Other than that, that's kind of um, that's kind of it <laughs> because the rest of the notes very divergent from Delina. So you have hibiscus, and I feel like the hibiscus is kind of replacing the lychee in Delina. So you have the rose, you have this tart quality um, and fruity quality from the hibiscus, and then you go into the vanilla and cassis. So it's green, it's a little sweetness from the vanilla, but you also have a spicy mint, which really gives it a unique factor, you guys. And it also has a cassis. So again, green, minty, leathery, but the leather is much more subdued than what you would think. That's why I didn't want to try it. I'm like, leather and mint? Like two notes that I'm just, that always give me calls for pause. I need to sample it, I need to try it first. I got a five mil decant of this a few months ago and I finally decided it was time for a full bottle and I am loving getting my wares out of this one. It also has a little bit of a spicy quality from the cinnamon, but it's rounded off beautifully from an ambrette seed. So you have a lot of my favorites in here, the vanilla, ambrette, um, the rose, and it is, coming together, very well blended to create something powerful, but again, very beautiful. I think, I feel like if you wanted a, a Delina, but unisex, <laughs> like they made Delina unisex and much more wearable for, um, you know, our counterparts that don't want something super feminine in quality. So this one, a stunner, and I highly recommend you get your nose on it. This one is from the house again of Mason Cravelli, and this is Hibiscus Mahajad. Now, if you do not know that you are a confidence floral wearer, okay? If you are not a florals girl, please don't. Please don't because Blossom Love is going to have you smelling like a bouquet of the most beautiful florals ever, ever, okay? You, of course, you have this cherry blossom, which is the star, but it's also coupled with the most sweet and delicious and unique amaretto note. You don't see that note a lot in perfumery and I feel like it goes so beautifully in this fragrance with the other notes. So it's going to be very floral. Yes, very, very floral and you have to be a floral lover, but there is there are quite a few women out there that fall into that category. And if that is you, this is for you. If that's not your vibe, please don't go near this. Do not go near it. <laughs> um, this is one that I don't reach for often, but I can't ever see myself decluttering it because I have to be in a mood for just like, oh, I'm, I want a florals day, you know? <laughs> and, and if I'm in that mood, absolutely a go-to. So not only does it have the amaretto note feature, it also has heliotrope. So it is adding like this almondy, you know, yeah, it's, it's got a quite an almond vibe about it. In addition to rose, creaminess from ylang ylang and the cherry blossom, you also have a base of tonka bean, just a touch of suede 
amber and vanilla. The suede, I really don't get too much of. But in true and wash fashion, they're going to add something that is going to, to give it just a lot more interest um, and depth than what we are used to in the designer world, definitely, but even the niche world. So again, if you're a cherry blossom lover, if you're a florals girl, this is definitely for you. But if you don't want to smell like a beautiful bouquet of florals, then stay away from Blossom Love. Okay, so this next one, listen to me. If your goal is not to be the it girl, okay? You're tired of all the women in the office looking at you green with envy, okay? You're the one getting the promotions <laughs> time and time again. You're the one, you know, that has it all together. Like you got everything, you're the it girl, all right? Don't wear this because when you put this on, you're automatically going to be of that girl, the it girl, and this is a trap rev. So, a trap rev is a rose patchouli, very, very, very clean patchouli because you know I pretty much detest the note, and it's always going to depend on how it's done. Ninety percent of the time, if it is prominent. I'm not gonna like it because of the way it's done. I don't like it dirty. I don't like it scratchy scratchy. I don't like it overpowering the fragrance. Now here, Mr. Jack Cavalier did the damn thing. So you have a touch of cacao, you have lychee, you have rose. Oh my God. And you have the most gorgeous, sparkling, clean patchouli. So when you put this on, there is a very much so a sense of femininity, but there's also a sense of power, okay? I cannot fathom you putting this on, wearing this to work, and you just not, you know, commanding that respect. And you're also gonna garner the attention. It smells beautiful. And I just love the simplistic quality and look of these bottles. It's like, it's like a flask, um, like old school medicine. Like, I don't know how they came up with this, but I absolutely love it. And to have like a collection of them just sitting on your vanity, what? Just true it girl, okay? So if you're not trying to be look, smell, you know, have that persona of the it girl, please don't go near this because that is exactly the vibe the HR bread from Louis Vuitton is going to get. All right, now listen to me. If you, are the type of person that just has to put on a $500 fragrance to smell great, to feel great about yourself. Well, Casablanca is not for you. Casablanca is for the girl who wants that smell, but at a very affordable price point. Casablanca smells so good. It is quite complex. Um, which I feel like that's kind of going to be the vibe for those Arabian brands. But this one is so beautiful, you guys. So you've got like grapes and you've got suede and it's sweet and you have this green apple and pretty much you're going to smell like caramel apple with complexity. Okay, it's musky, it's woody, it is a vibe. And this thing you can get for under 50 bucks, okay, performance, Amazing, um, where do they do this at, okay? Where do they do it? I really need to get my nose on more of the Arabian uh, brands, but it's just, y'all, them bottles be, they be, they be killing me. <laughs> this one, I can do this, okay? We even matching today. They kept it simple, they kept it classic. Now the top, very, you know, it can use some work, but at this price point, it's not a big deal. I don't expect, you know, everything to be just top tier but the smell is absolutely top tier. So if you love smelling expensive, but you love saving your coins, then Casablanca by Swiss Arabian is for you. If you have to spin a grip just because, okay, for that to validate you, then knock yourself out, but don't go near this one. All right, so if you do not want to attract the munch man, and we all know what that is, all right? If you don't, and need you listen to Ice Spice and then get up to speed and then you come back, press play on the video. Please don't go near Accident Olive Anise Creme de la Berry because if you put this on, you are going to have this man trying to devour you in every which way possible. All right, you read between the lines. It's probably a Sunday when y'all viewing this, so we're not gonna get into, into too much depth, but this thing smells so dang delicious. Oh my God, I cannot, I cannot. Okay, so when this first dropped, I literally heard I swear, three review, the three reviews I saw on it was the same thing. 
Captain Crunch berries in a bowl of milk, you know, and you got a big vanilla component to it. That is exactly what they are giving. So this one has like the base of Accident Albany, the original, right? Imagine that. But you're going to throw in some strawberry cheesecake. You're going to add some whipped cream to the mix, all right? Again, so that's where we're getting that milk vibe. You're going to have the vanilla again, sandalwood. The Styrax vanilla combo is really what you're getting from the uh, OG, okay? So the flanker, it has the added cheesecake, whipped cream, strawberry. So once those opening and the mid notes kind of settle and just start to dissipate, you are going to be left with something that smells quite like the original, which makes sense because it is a base of Styrex and vanilla. And I, there are no complaints here because I have the original, I love it. Accent Olive and Creme Little Berry is delicious. It is for the gourmand girl. So if you love strawberry, you love whipped cream, um, you know, very edible, very edible, but again, vanilla, uh, Oh, resins, that's what you're getting. That is what this is. And essentially you're gonna smell like Captain Crunch berries with some milk drizzled in like a vanilla sauce. That is what this is. So if that appeals to you, like if that's, if your mouth is starting to water like mine is, at just the notes. Just go ahead, get your nose on it. Uh, Lucky Scent, they do have samples, but you know Lucky Scent, okay? In 2023, they still come in with less than a meal, okay? 0 0.7. Uh, the milliliters of the, the 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 vials. Get three or four of them, please do. If you really want to get a feel for, okay, how long is this gonna really last on my skin? Um, really, you, so you can just at least give your arm a good spray to take in what the scent is gonna smell like. You know when it's in the air. Like doing this just on your hand, it's not gonna be enough. Like in my opinion. So test it out. But get three or four. Now a lot of the flankers from the Accident Olive Bunny have been very hit or miss, very hit or miss. But I feel like they really hit it out of the park with this one and I absolutely love it. Again, the performance could be better. Decan her and take her with us because the smell is justified topping off. All right, again, this one is Accident Olive Bunny Creme Della Berry by Giuseppe Parfum. Now, if you do not want every Tom, Dick and Harry, Mary, Susie, Lynn stopping you on the streets to ask you what are you wearing, having you write it down. Um, just look, if you don't be bothered with compliments, if you don't be bothered, period, don't you dare step out the house with guidance on. I've even had somebody tell me, you know what, I'm not crazy about the scent, but y'all, I ain't never got this many compliments in my life, so I'm gonna keep wearing it. Wow, okay, that's commitment, because if I don't like the smell, I'm not wearing it. Um, but this is a stone cold love for me. Anyone that has, you know, watched me in 2023, you already know this. However, if you're new here, let me put you on. So Guidance is just a masterpiece for me, okay? And like any other masterpiece, um, your portrait of a ladies, your baby cats, your Delinas, your Baccarat Rouges, they are going to be very polarizing, very polarizing. And this one is absolutely polarizing. So it is not a safe wine buy. And that is with all Amwash fragrances across the board, all right? Don't blind buy them. Test them. This was a blind buy for me, but it was with utter risk. And I feel like if Quentin Beach was not the perfumer behind it, I would not have blind bought it. But I have so many fragrances from him and I've never smelled anything from him that I did not love. Now I haven't smelled everything he's made, but I've, I've amassed quite a few from the man's nose and they are all loves for me. And this is no exception. And this is without a doubt my favorites that he's ever created. <laughs> so guidance is quite complex in true unwashed fashion. Um, but I find it to be still very wearable for this house. If you if you don't know about the house, step on into a sack, start spraying them on paper, spraying them on skin. Listen, you, you don't know what you're gonna get, all right? So guidance is quite woody, okay, above all. It is quite woody, but there is, this balance between florals, woodiness, sweet, spicy, bold, but feminine. There is just this gorgeous juxtaposition of so many things and it, they come together to create something unlike anything. Please stop with these crazy comparisons. Y'all be sending me, I'm like, girl, how are you getting that and this? But that just goes to show you everyone's nose is different. 
I can sit here and tell you something is a 10 out of 10 amazing all day. You have to test it and smell it for yourself because my nose is not your nose. Your nose is not the girl across the streets from your nose. Everyone's nose is different and that is just fact. So we're talking about fragrance and talking about something just highly subjective. So this opens with pear, hazelnut, olibanum. So it's very incensey. You do have this very delicious, juicy fruitiness from that pear throughout the life of the scent for me, not just in the opening. You have osmanthus, um, which coupled with the pear is just a recipe for fruity deliciousness, okay? So you've got this apricot feel with the pear. You have the nuttiness from the hazelnut, and some people pick up on the hazelnut more than others, all right? So I do get it in the opening, but after the opening, it melts into this gorgeous rose, apricot scent. You have a very sexy quality from that saffron and the saffron is quite prominent. So if you enjoy that note, this is gonna be a vibe. If you don't, if you don't like spicy, this is just, you know, you, you just may go ahead and don't pass go, don't collect 200 because there is definitely a spicy quality about it. The Akigala wood, very prominent. So automatically gonna be very spicy. Akigala wood is a synthetic note and essentially what it's supposed to give you is this essence of woodiness, okay, at the base, but it's almost like a very clean patchouli and pepper. So those three components, and it is very distinct to me and my nose in any fragrance that I've ever come across it in. So, and, and I also always state that it's a lover hates type of scent, or you won't pick up on it at all. Molecular, you know, it can just do that. but. It's, oh God, that's what makes it so addictive to me. It's a very addictive note if you jive with Akigala wood. Ambergris, all right, beautiful, like almost like a little salty quality from the ambergris. And you have a little bit of leptanum, sandalwood, okay? Leptanum is more prominent to some than others. I don't get a whole lot, I don't smell this and go leathery. Some people will say they have sprayed this and they're just getting leather. Wow, I don't get that, <laughs> I don't get that. Um, so again, just a definitely try before you buy, but I urge you to try it because this has become so many people's like my favorite fragrance of all time, Holy Grail. Other people are like, what the F you, you finished the rest is this, it stinks. I'm getting body odor. I hate it. Like polarizing, right? <laughs> so, and again, we can say that about all the greats, you know. Give me one that's a, that's a masterpiece to you and your mind and everybody just agrees with you. Like that doesn't exist. So you have to try stuff for yourself. But this one, absolutely the most complimented fragrance in my entire collection and people that love it, y'all go ahead and jump in the comments and vouch. Is this not the most complimented fragrance that you have ever experienced? Are you not getting stopped every hour on the hour by somebody, all right? I think the last time I wore this to work, I had this on, I topped it off with a little bit of um, Silk Santal 36. I came into the bathroom, walked past me. He stayed outside the bathroom and waited for me to come out. He hit me with three questions back to back. Excuse me, ma'am, what are you wearing? How much does it cost? And where can I get it? Uh, boy, I'm talking about they not playing in these streets about I don't know if it just plays in the air a certain way to where people are just like mesmerized because in the air, it don't seem polarizing. <laughs> like the people around you typically seem to love it. Um, but, oh my God, just get your nose on it. That's all I can say, pop into a sax and try it on your skin because this may be an all time utter like top three for life type of scent like it is for me, but don't step out the house either way if you don't want compliments and to be tracked down and stalked. <laughs> that is what guidance is going to bring, all right? Again, this is from the House of Amwaj. All right, you guys, so that is the video for today. Let me know in the comments, drop me some thoughts. Let me know your scent of the day, number one. Number two, do you have any of these? And would you agree or disagree with, you know, my findings, you know, would you wear these out the house if you are not in the mood for that type of reaction, I would love to know. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, you guys. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you found any value in the content. And last but not least, make sure that notification bell is set to all. I love you all, YouTube, and I will catch you guys on the next one.